Hey guys, this is Willes and today I'm going to be showing you how to play GTA Online with mods installed in GTA 5. This will allow you to easily switch between the clean version and the modded version of GTA 5. This will save you heaps of time switching from going online to playing story mode with mods. And let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so first things first, all you need to do is make sure you have your Steam opened with Grand Theft Auto 5 here and if you have if you do have a different version that's not on Steam of GTA 5 this will still work for you so first things first if you're on Steam you just have to go into here right click on Grand Theft Auto 5 click on properties go over here to local files browse local files you click on that and this will bring you to the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory now, if you don't have Steam, you can just find this. It'll be like Rockstar Games, and it will go into apps or something like that. And it will go in. It will eventually lead to the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. It's really easy to find. If you don't know how to find this, then just comment below, and I'll help you out. But anyway, once you're here, you will see that you have this Grand Theft Auto 5, and you have all of these things in here. If you already have your mods installed, you'll see all your mods installed. Script V. ScriptoQV.net and all your other mods installed onto here. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how you can go onto GTA Online without your mods, but while having mods. So basically, I'm showing you how to switch from a modded GTA folder, which will have all your mods in it. That will be for story mode, and then how to quickly very quickly trust me when i say that it is extremely quick to change from that modded folder to a clean gta 5 folder with no mods in it so you can therefore play gta online without getting banned without any issues without none of that this is very simple easy and free so enough of that chit chat first thing you want to do is you see at the top here you see Grand Theft Auto 5 and behind that it says common and once you're in common it will show Grand Theft Auto 5 it won't have clean there because that's something that I've already added but just ignore that for now so now all you should see is Grand Theft Auto 5 and this is where all this is so if you don't already have your mods in here that's a great thing because that means that all you have to do is highlight all of that Copy it. You want to create a new folder. Call it Grand Theft Auto 2 or just whatever you want. But make sure you know the difference between this version, which should be clean for you guys, and then this version, which you're about to copy it into. Now, once you have copied all of that I won't do it because it will take quite a while to copy it but that's just the start once you've already copied it it's all set to go but once you have copied it it'll take quite a while depending on how fast your computer is uh, mine actually took quite a while but you paste into there and then let's say Grand Theft Auto V this is your clean version of GTA 5 just keep it as that Grand Theft Auto 2 let's say you have your mods in there now I mean so let's say you now have copied and pasted all of the files from your other Grand Theft Auto 5 directory so now it's all into here let's just just imagine that's happened so now actually I can show you on what I've already done so this is what I've already done this is fully clean this is what you should have copied and pasted now all you have to do is put your mods into here so let's say you want script hook v which you actually do need for mods so just highlight them drag them into here drag whatever other mods you would like to put into your modded gta folder whatever that may be whatever mods this works for any gta 5 mods once you have done all that this will become your modded GTA 5. So what you would do is call that. So you'd rename it 
and you just put Grand Theft Auto V, but then add modded at the end. And that is now your modded folder. And then this will be your clean folder. So now you can switch between the two and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So it depends on what you want to do. So, so if you're looking to play on GTA Online right now, on GTA 5, all you have to do is keep these folders. Actually, I'll delete this to avoid confusion. All you need to do is keep these folders the exact same. So as you can already see, your clean version is just called Grand Theft Auto V. This is the clean version of GTA 5. You want to keep that and then keep the modded version with all your mods in it. Keep it as Grand Theft Auto V modded. And the reason why you do this is because GTA 5, the game itself, it only reads the exact folder that is named Grand Theft Auto V. It won't read the modded. So that means that if you go into story mode, you won't have any of your mods. If you go into online mode, you won't have any of your mods either. So that's a good thing because then you can play GTA Online without your mods. So so you will just keep it the same. So whenever you want to play online, you just have it like this. Your clean version is Graphic Auto V. But then let's say you want to play story mode with mods and you want to quickly change from clean to mods. All you have to do is come back into here. You just change, you just rename the clean version of GTA 5 to GTA to Grand Theft Auto 5 clean and then change the modded version that you want to be playing with with all your mods in it to just Grand Theft Auto V with nothing else and now the game will read this modded folder and you will be able to play with the mods inside of this wow so just to recap if you want to ever change from story mode with mods to online without mods or vice versa all you have to do is right click on gta 5 properties local files browse local files once you're in here all you have to do is press common and then and you have these so whichever folder you want to use is the one that the game will read so if you want to go into story mode with mods you would have the modded, you would have the folder with the mods, just called Grand Theft Auto V, and vice versa. And if you want to go into GTA Online, then all you'd have to do is have that, but for the clean. So you'd rename this to modded, and you'd take away the clean on this, and you just have Grand Theft Auto V. I hope that's nice and simple for you. Comment below right now if this is clear for you, if you understand this. I want to know what you guys think and without further ado I should show you guys that this does work so right now I have the modded folder as Grand Theft Auto V so now I will show you guys that having this and having the clean version as well but named as clean in those folders will work so let's start up GTA 5 24 hours later alright guys after 24 hours of waiting to load in, I'm finally in. <laughs> Just joking, it wasn't actually that long. But, but you know, the long waiting times. Anyway, as you can see, I'm now loaded into the game with the modded folders in action. So let's just test this out. I'll open this mod menu that I have right now. If you want this exact same train event, just go in the top right right now and just click on the top right, I'll leave it right there on the top right right now or I could possibly leave it in my description but you can check it below if it is there I don't mind, could be but anyway, so as you can see it's working I'll just test some things out to make sure it is uh, let's spawn a bodyguard spawn a few bodyguards so you can see I have my bodyguards here. Okay, so these are my bodyguards. Let's go mess with someone. What the hell? And look, it works perfectly normal. 
my bodyguards are all shooting him down so it works on story mode and now I'm gonna show you guys how to switch from story mode with mods to online without mods so bear with me okay once you're back out here you just want to do the same process right click properties local files browse local files go into common and then you want to go into GTA online right all you have to do is change this folder with mods in it to modded change the clean one to just Grand Theft Auto 5 you have to make sure you definitely do make sure it's Grand Theft Auto 5 because that is what the game will read so one is once it is that the game will read that and allow you to go online without mods and I hope I've showed you and helped you showing you guys pretty much how to create a mods folder in your GTA 5 directory but anyway before you go check out my channel just go on my channel as I create more GTA 5 mod related content and other videos as well check it out subscribe if you like my content like the video comment below if this has helped you and you know you already know what to do cheers for watching see you next time